Welcome back to Good Things Del Marva. I am here with Frank Gibbs, and he is a playwright, an author, and also a motivational speaker. And you guys are in the Milford area, yes, right? And also Philip White. Thank you for coming in. He's an actor, and he's yeah. going to be a one-year production yes, coming up, yes, right? Yes. And first, tell me about that. No more drama. Well, first, allow me to open on this premise. Thank you for inviting us to come to share uh, the vision that God has given us. Um, basically, the play No More Drama, it, it's about a young lady by the name of Leah. She's the main character. She's 24 years old, and her life is rapidly spiraling out of control. Um, she doesn't have a positive relationship with her mother. Uh, she doesn't know who her biological father is. And as a result, she gets connected with uh, a gentleman who really doesn't have her best interest at heart. Um, she, uh, g her life just begins to spiral out of control and uh, she experiences an emotional breakdown and she meets a unique lady that helps her discover the gift that she's suppressed deep down inside of her. So it's really a motivational uh, um, play. It deals with uh, being rejected. It deals with uh, low self-esteem. It deals with all of these emotions that we really don't like to talk about. So. And Philip, you're an actor in the play. What is yeah. your role? Well, my role is the uh, stepfather of the play, and um, he's basically um, dealing with some issues that's going on in everyday society. Um, not able to um, meet the bills, uh, the payment of the bills, and going through um, hours being cut on the job, almost about to lose his job, and you know, just trying to make it through everyday life without losing control of his life as well, or the, the best interests of his family's life. Right, and this is an encore presentation, so mm -hmm. it, you all had this before and it did really well? Yes, it did extremely well. Um, we had close to a thousand people there, uh, and then we actually turned away about maybe 200 people that were at the door that waited until the last minute to get their ticket. <laughs> so um, it, was an, it was an awesome night. Uh, people came from all over, mm -hmm. and it was just a wonderful experience. And, you know, um, everyone really came out, they supported. And again, this is our encore for those who didn't have the opportunity to make the first show, we're going to show it again. And it's going to be held on August 28th, yes. right? And that's at Jesus Love Temple? Yes. And that's, tell me where that is in it's Milford? It's, it's located in Milford, Delaware. It's actually the old Milford Theater. Uh, it's turned into a church now. They renovated it. It's a state-of-the-art facility. Mm -hmm. And it's a great place uh, for entertainment. And we're just trying to bring live entertainment there. Right. And tell me, I guess, as far as those who want more information on, on tickets, what can they do? Uh, they can actually call me directly. Uh, they can reach me at area code 302-393-9698. Okay, and also the, they can also, I guess, get tickets at the church as well? Yes, they okay. can get tickets at the church. Uh, we uh, have tickets at the Mustard Seed in Milford, Delaware. Mm -hmm. We have tickets at the Branch in Dover, Delaware. And we have tickets at um, a couple other places uh, in the location area. Okay, and so did you, Frank, did you actually write this this play that's being produced? Or? Yes, yes. I actually wrote it about two years ago. And, um, you know, I sort of put it off and put it off, but, you know, I felt as though it was time to really uh, get the ball moving. And I was blessed to be able to work with uh, such great people as Mr. Philip here and other great people, mm -hmm. Kanisha Trott, um, different ones, Carla Morton, the list goes on and on. Uh, just great people, and it all came together. And, uh, you know, we're excited about, you know, what mm -hmm. lies ahead. And tell me, Philip, have you been in a lot of productions around the area, in Frank's production? Actually, this is um, the first one that, to this extent, and as we have had in the last couple of years, you know. Uh, other than that, basically, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so how do you typically, I guess, find your cast for your, your plays? Well, I try to identify the type of character that I'm looking for. Uh, I try to do an in-depth study of the type of person that plays the character. Um, actually, when I do the plays, what I do is I take the characters first and I analyze their personality. And then I try to find someone that can fit that personality for that particular character or that particular role. And, um, you know, I've known Philip for a while, and when I wrote the play, I said, you know, he would be perfect for this role. Mm -hmm. And he was perfect for the role. Right. And so when you write a play, I mean, where does your inspiration come from? Well, basically, it, it, it comes from God, of course. Um, and just, you know, life's experiences, uh, you know, things that I've experienced, stories that I've heard. 
um, you know, people that have given me their testimonies about things that have happened to them and how they were over, able to overcome obstacles and things. And I just begin to write. I've always loved to write ever since I was a child. I always loved to write short stories and things. So, um, you know, I just begin to write and um, I just comes and I start writing and it just flows naturally. And so what are you hoping people get out of this play when they come see it? Well, I'm hoping that after they see this play that they can look at themselves and see that you know uh, life is what you make it and it doesn't matter what has happened to you in the past uh, that you can still be blessed you can still be prosperous and everything that we go through as individuals it all works together for our good so basically I want people to understand that it doesn't matter you know what's happened to you uh, you can still be successful you can still be prosperous and God can still bless you Okay. Is there another production in the works? <laughs> yes, yes. We're actually working on a sequel now okay. to No More Drama. It's okay. entitled Daddy's Home. Okay. And this is where uh, the main character, Leah, her biological father, comes back into her life after okay. many, many years. Sounds exciting. Thank you so much. Again, No More Drama Encore presentation. That's August 28th at Jesus Love Temple in Milford. Yes. Good luck to you all. Thank you all so right. much. Thank, Thank you. you. And stay with us. We'll be right back.